The honey badger verse of the day today involves vocation. And as you can see, the honey badger is dressed in a construction outfit. He has a hard hat. He has even his equipment with him. And he loves this line of work because he gets to persevere. He gets to work with strong vehicles and lift heavy things and even destroy things at times. And the verse is Ecclesiastic 2, 24 for 25. I know a man or woman can do nothing better than to eat and drink and find satisfaction in the works of their hands. This too is a gift from God for apart from him who can eat or drink or find enjoyment. And do we find joy in the calling God has on us? Paul, he was a tent maker, it says in Acts 18, 3. And everywhere he went, he'd make tents and use the money to help advance the kingdom of God. He'd go in the synagogues, he'd go in the public squares, and he'd proclaim that Jesus is the Lord. And he saw his vocation is a vocation for the Lord. And he said, whatever you do, whether word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. So our vocation, we should do unto the Lord. Solomon also said in Ecclesiastes 10, 17, Fool work worries him, for he did not know the way to town. Do we see our work and see how it advances the kingdom of God? Or do we just see it as clocking in and clocking out for a paycheck? And I've been working in the mental health field at Havenwick Hospital now 16 years. And I see it as a vocation for God. I see people during their times with mental health, they may be in darkness and I can come as a light. I can offer comfort. I can offer acceptance and love. And by doing that, I'm bringing glory to God because God's concerned for people. And even Jesus, when he was here on earth, he began as a carpenter. He began working, some say even in agriculture or farming because of his parables of that involved much of agriculture. And are we using our gifts and talents for God's glory? And I'm going to end with James 1.17. Every good and perfect gift comes from above, coming down from the Father of heavenly lights, who does not change its shifting shadows. And God has given us great gifts. Are we using them for his kingdom? And in the comments below, share times God has used your vocation or job to bring people in the kingdom. Share times when you've been a witness at work and how your job brings glory to God by you doing it full heartedly.